So in the month of April, I tried to upload every day. It was a struggle, but I kind of did it. I only missed two days. But the month of May, I will be reacting to a video at least once or twice a week, dedicating it to Mental Health Awareness Month. So what is mental health? There's a whole bunch of mental illnesses, mental disorders that a lot of people on this planet can relate to or have or know someone that has it. Now to give you a few examples, there's depression, anxiety, PTSD, trauma, bipolar disorder, dementia, ADHD, ADD, schizophrenia, OCD, autism. I, the list goes on, I can keep on going. So there is this channel called psych to go What I love about this channel is that the videos are short. They're like about five to seven minutes long each. They're animated so it keeps you engaged. At the same time they're also feeding you facts and they're educating you. Me being clinically depressed and having anxiety I can relate to a lot of these videos. So we're gonna go ahead and react to this video. This video is called seven reasons to love someone with depression. It can be anyone you love. It could be a sibling, it could be a parent, it could be an aunt, uncle, cousin, or boyfriend or girlfriend, wife, husband. You know someone that has it, has one of these disorders. And it may be difficult for you to make them feel loved and it's only because of their disorder that it makes it a little bit cloudy. So we're gonna go ahead and react to this video and tell me what you think. Do not hesitate to comment below and let me know your experience. Are y'all ready? Let's watch. Hey Psych2Goers. We hope you know that we're here for you during these crazy times of COVID-19. We want you to stay safe and healthy and we'll fight this together. Because of the stay at home orders and with this whole pandemic, everyone's trying to stay safe physically. But those who are suffering th with mental disorders, that can also be deadly. Reach out to anyone if you feel like you need the help. I will also link down the suicide hotline in case you need to call. Do not give up. Is there anyone in your life who you think may be struggling with depression? Or perhaps that person is you? If so, You've likely seen how it complicates daily life and how it not only affects the depressed, but also everyone around them. It's emotionally painful to see someone you love in so much pain, but you're not sure how to help them. Relationships aren't easy, so loving someone with a mental health diagnosis can be even more of a challenge. They tend to talk themselves down and wallow in their feelings of self-hatred and hopelessness, convinced that they're undeserving of love. Depression builds walls around People. It's somewhat like having an angel on one side and having the devil on the other. Somehow the devil seems to be winning. This devil on one side is telling you that you are worthless, that you don't mean anything to anyone, you are not loved, you have no purpose here, you have nothing to offer. These are all the things that people with depression tell themselves. As much as people try to convince them that this is just in your head, this is not what is true, and they try to get you out of that funk, it can still be difficult because it is a chemical imbalance in the brain. There's a lot of emotional distance between you and your loved one. Yet, you continue to reach out and support them. You do it because you're connected to them and you love them. Now that's one type of advice that I would give to those who love someone with depression. Never give up on them. As much as they push you away, they want you there. They need you there. Your presence alone will help them. So the second you give up, it's just gonna be another proven point that nobody really does love them, that nobody really does care. So keep trying as, as hard as it is for you. Keep trying. After all, one of the most beautiful and powerful things in life is true human connection. Nurturing it can help you find happiness even in the darkest of times, and it will help you restore what depression has taken away. So. Let's go through seven reasons to love someone with Let's depression. Go. Let's do it. One, they're stronger than most. When was the last time you were in any sort of heated conflict, physical or verbal? Now imagine that energy expenditure, but inside your head, and it never ends. Fighting depression is a constant battle with your own mind, with the weapons of loneliness, emptiness, and hopelessness. Be the brain is such a powerful thing. Now imagine when your brain is fighting with you, <laughs> okay? You know how hard that is? It can beat you so low to where you hit rock bottom and then it gets you to the point of having suicidal thoughts. And to fight through that is one of the strongest things that a 
that a person can ever go through. And if you can fight it and still be here till this day, you are a strong person. And it's unfortunate and sad that some people lose the battle because little do they know that life does get better if they were just willing to fight one more fight. Used against the sufferer. You can imagine that whoever has fought against depression is likely one of the strongest, most resilient individuals you know. Sometimes they don't win, and the amount of courage and determination required to get back up is tremendous. Two. And I'm a great example to that. Just a couple months ago, I was at my rock bottom where I was planning my suicide. I had it planned for days. I would wake up in the morning wondering if today was going to be the day that I would do it. It's not if I'm going to do it, but when I'm going to do it. And I fought so hard every day. And I'm, I'm saying not just the morning, throughout the day, every minute of the day, I'm fighting myself. Stick with it. Do not give up. And that's, that, that can be one of the most difficult things you can ever go through. Depression does not define them. Of utmost importance, you are loving a person, not a diagnosis. Although this person has a mental illness, this does not define who they are and does not indicate a foregone conclusion. Some of the greatest individuals in history, such as Abraham Lincoln, Winston Churchill, and Georgia O'Keeffe struggled with depression for much of their lives. Despite this, they rose above it all and made their lives mean something more. Three, they're more understanding. People with depression tend to wonder what is my purpose in life. But because we're so in our head and trying to figure that out, we're not realizing what's around us and that we're, we are actually on our journey to our purpose. You know, you gotta keep on going. People who have depression become more understanding and empathetic to the suffering of others. They know how it feels like to be shunned and ignored by others due to the stigma behind mental illness. Because of this, they tend to be more open-minded and non-judgmental. 100%. It's easy to let yourself be emotionally vulnerable with them because they can easily empathize with whatever it is you may be feeling. When someone's considered an outcast, they're just being misunderstood. If people took the time to actually get to know them and understand them a little bit more, people wouldn't be so judgmental. They'll likely understand your point. And that's where I get my empathy from. You better than others. Or, they're more honest. Depression has a tendency to make those who suffer from it more brutally honest. Just as they understand what it's like to be shunned, they also understand what it's like to have their time wasted and feelings hurt by fake niceties and false promises. You can always trust them to tell you the truth, no matter how ugly or painful it may be. And that's a fact. Ask my family, ask my sisters, ask my loved ones. I am brutally honest. Whether that hurts your feelings or not, I'm going to tell you my, my honest opinion. But they're not really understanding my intentions behind what I'm saying. I care about you so much I'm going to tell you what you're doing is wrong or what you're thinking is not okay. People don't receive it that well and it's probably because of my delivery. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm so brutally honest. But I'd rather be honest to someone and show them who I am than to lie to them and show them a facade because that's not what I want in my life. I would want the same in return. They don't usually have any ulterior motives behind their words or their actions because they put a lot of value in a person's sincerity and straightforwardness. Five, they're quite appreciative. We know, you might think, that wall doesn't seem like they care about anything I do for them. <laughs> yeah, there is a wall. However, those with depression don't really want to be left all alone. They value and are grateful for those who stay by their side. I'm an introvert. I like my peaceful time alone. I don't like to be around people. That's just who I am. At the same time, I want people. I don't have friends, but I want friends. But then when I actually have the opportunity to make friends, I back off. That's the wall. That's the depression speaking. None of us wants to feel alone. Nobody. Nobody in this planet. I don't care who you talk to. If they... If they're telling you they like to be alone, then they're lying to you. It's either they're lying to you or they really believe it and they haven't had some self-realization yet. Making that effort to connect and reach out. But they don't want to burden you by seeming like they need it too much. They're very appreciative. They're just trying not to be creepy about it. They're not trying to be creepy about it, I'm telling you. I do not like to ask for help 
I don't like to ask for anything for a favor. I try to do things on my own because I don't want to be a burden. When someone forces themselves into my life, like knocks down that wall, not even giving you the opportunity to open that door, they're just gonna come right in and they're gonna help you with what you need, regardless if you're trying not to take it or not, they're gonna give it to you. Those are the people that I'm so grateful and appreciative of. They don't give up and sometimes people with depression needs that. We're appreciative. Trust me, we are. Six. We see your effort. They're good listeners. Someone who's depressed tends to feel lonely and misunderstood. So they go out of their way to ensure that their loved ones don't feel that way. They want you to know that you are heard and accepted. They know how amazing it can feel to have someone get you. So they're eager to return any empathy and support others have shown them in any way they can, usually by listening. If I'm asking you to speak, if I'm asking you to let me know what's wrong, what's going on, and if you're choosing not to speak or say anything, then it's, it's hard for me to listen if you're, if you're just going to shut down and not open up to me. But I try. So if, if, anyone, if I see that someone is going through something, and it could be anyone in this world, I'm curious to know if they're okay. And this is why I ask. So I'm here to listen if you're willing to open up. And seven, they're deep thinkers. Many recent studies have observed a link between overthinking and depression. There are quite a few upsides to being a deep thinker, such as being perceptive, intuitive, and insightful about life. I'm sure you've heard the contemplation, what is the meaning of life? That mindset is very much what the depressed person contemplates is finding meaning gives them hope and purpose. To give a simple analogy, a flower blooms the most beautiful and vibrant when given proper support and care. People are the same way. Those with mental illnesses are still people. Although it can feel like an uphill battle much of the time, encouragement, understanding, and simply being there to help them through the suffering goes a long way to helping that flower bloom. Did any of these points speak to you? How are you thinking you might change your approach to others or yourself? If you're suffering from depression, did you find these points accurate? Please comment, like, and share this video with someone who would benefit from it. Also share my video because my experiences might be helping someone else. So Psych2Go, that is the channel. Please subscribe to their channel and give them some support because they're doing great things. So thank you to Psych2Go. I will be reacting to more of their videos. So stay tuned for the month of May. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.